Hello, Joanne Wilson here, and today I want to show you how to install and activate the Astra theme, install and activate a couple of other plugins that we're going to be using in our website class, the uh, Astra Sites and Elementor, which is the page builder that we're going to be using. So we're going to install and activate all three of those items right now. Let's start with the theme. We will go to Appearance and Themes. By default, WordPress installs some additional themes that aren't needed. You only need one theme, at least one theme on your website. So uh, to get rid of the extra themes, we'll click on Theme Details, then click the Delete button and say OK. We're going to do the same thing with this other theme. Yeah, that's better. We only have one theme in there now. You always need at least one theme. I like to have one. The one thing that the website is using and then one additional theme just in case we need to switch themes when we're doing some troubleshooting. But other than that, there's no reason to have any more than that. All right, we're going to add a new one. Click on Add New. And then in the search box, type in Astra, A-S-T-R-A. -A. You don't even have to push the Enter key. It will automatically come up. And here is the Astra theme. When you are installing this, you may not get this thumbnail may change, but as long as it says Astra on here, that's the one we want. So click on the Install button. Once it's installed, just click on Activate. The next thing we want to do is we want to create a child theme to use with this website. A child theme is dependent on the parent theme, but it's used to make any customizations too. That is because if, when you become more advanced, if you make any customizations to the theme files themselves, when the main theme gets updated, it will wipe out all those customizations. So it's always good practice to have a child theme. To do that, we're going to use a plugin to create that child theme. So we'll go to plugins and add new. And in the box, let's just search for child theme. The child theme configurator plugin is the one we want. To install it, we click install now. Once it's installed, what we have to do is click activate. And to access the child theme configurator and create our child theme, it will be under tools. So we go to the tools and child themes. We're going to create a new child theme. You would choose your parent theme. I have, we have the two, the 2017 that came pre-installed and the Astra. The Astra theme is the one we want the child theme to. Now you click Analyze. Everything's got the green check, so we're good to go. Since this is a new install, there's nothing else we need to check on here. If by chance you had already made some customizations to your theme, you could select this, check this box, and it would carry over those configurations to the child theme so that you wouldn't lose any of them. So this is a cool feature about this generator. Now all you have to do is click create a new child theme. It's already created. Now this says to preview your child theme before activating. So let's go ahead and preview the child theme.
right? And there's nothing in our website. We haven't done any customizations, so it doesn't look that great right now, but that's okay. We will be doing all of that as time goes on. For now, now we click Activate and Publish. Okay, to get out of this customizer box, we just click the little X at the top. Now we can go back to plugins. Because we've already configured and created our child theme, we don't no longer need this plugin. So I want to deactivate that and delete it. You should never keep plugins on your website that you don't need. It's just a security risk to have additional plugins that aren't being used that you don't need and right now if there was some reason that you needed it at a later date you could always reinstall it. The next thing we want to install is the Astra Sites plugin. So we will click Add New and just search for Astra Sites. There it popped up, Astra Starter Sites. This is what the one we want. For some details about what a plugin does, you can click on More Details. And X out of it. So we're going to just install this plugin. What Astra Starter Sites does is it allows you the ability to import entire websites that are already pre-built using the Astra theme. If you wanted to preview some of these themes beforehand, you could go to their website, wpastra.com slash ready dash websites, and you could see some of those websites. This has a filter. You can filter them by Elementor or Beaver Builder. In the website we are creating, we're going to be using Elementor. Therefore, we would select the Elementor templates. And we only want to look for the free themes because we are, are not purchasing the Pro version at this time. So this will simplify our searching. As you can see, these are all the pre-made templates that you can import. Let's take a look at one of them. And these aren't just one page. These are the entire website. They have multiple pages all ready to, to fill in with your information, your pictures, your text. To close out one of these themes, there's a small X in the lower right-hand corner, and just click on that. Anyway, that gives you an idea of what just what types of things you can do with Astra Sites. All right, now that that Astra Starter Sites plugin is in, installed, we want to just click Activate. The other plugin that we're going to go ahead and install is called Elementor. That is going to be the page builder that we're going to be using. So click on Add New. Now click Elementor or type in Elementor. It's the Elementor page builder right here. Click Install Now and then Activate. You've now installed and activated the three primary elements that we will be using to create our WordPress website. We will see you in the next video.